Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off and, well, the next thing we need to do is attack China. But we have to prepare a little bit better, get more units, definitely finish the observation balloon, so that we'll be able to use artillery from three tiles away. But first, let's finish using that builder, that's going to be a lumber mill, and we'll check tile assignments really quick. Seems fine to me. I'm keeping the city on full production right now. Because then we'll actually get a unit in a reasonable time frame. Other than that, we'll probably have to bring a few units from our core cities, because waiting for the airlift will take way too long. I don't want to wait that long. So, a few more artillery units, maybe a few more melee units. And that should do. We'll finish the aerodrome first. Both and then switch than to words. military production. We got rifling, Destroying and we also got conservation. So now I could buy like a nationalist. We should have at least Kokemi. several different locations for national parks, especially since we have the Eiffel Tower now. So I'm pretty sure we got a few. Let's just buy one. We have over 6,000 faith. So yeah, sure, we'll grab one. Oh yeah, and also buy a meeting house. That's 1600 faith. Yep, sure. Why not? As for our next research, we could grab combustion. I guess we're going to need oil. So might as well go for that. We can probably get a boost for it. But it will take a while, so that's a bit of a problem. Anyway, the Civic. I don't want rapid deployment as soon as possible. Which means we should go for mass media. Can we research radio sometime soon? Kind of? Yeah, I guess we can go for it right now. Let's go for radio then. And we'll get mass media. I might actually try to build Crystal Redentor, but I'm not sure. It's a nice wonder for culture victory. And I don't want China to get it. And we got more envoys, so let's have a look at Geneva before we decide. 13 envoys from China. Okay, so Geneva should be fine. We can get Hatusa back, so let's maybe do that. And place one guy elsewhere. What's the city that's least competed for? Only six envoys over here. Well, five from Arabia. What's the bonus? Your districts provide plus one great person point of their type. That's not bad. And where is that city exactly? Let's have a look. Over here. A little bit out of the way. But I guess we can place one envoy at least. Or we could get free. Huh. Well, we could just place one envoy in all the cities with zero. But if we're going to do that, it might be better to switch the policy. Yeah, it would definitely be better to switch the policy. So let's do it like that. We'll switch to Diplomatic League and then we can switch back. All right, sounds good, we can do that. And the trader. So which city should be the priority? Let's check trade routes from our cities close to China. If we can boost production, that would be quite useful. Speed up unit recruitment. Also, I might keep the musket man here. Although, it would be better to send him towards China, I guess. Let's pick up tortoise on that guy. Yeah, I guess we'll send him to China. That will take 14 turns. Oh well, he will get there eventually. Upgrades. Oh, I should have picked up professional army. I guess we can pick it up in a few turns. There's no huge rush to upgrade units right now. We don't have to do it literally right now. We aren't attacking China just yet. Also, once we get ready up, I'll see how many seaside resorts we can spam. If it's a lot, we'll just grab them. I'm not sure which type of victory we'll end up winning. Probably either culture or science, whichever is going to be faster. 
culture is probably going to be faster because the science victory requires insane amount of production. I did the math a while back at the end of the pre-release press build and it was something like 15,000 production total on standard speed and that was with just one spaceport and you'll want more than one spaceport. So it's more like 17, 18,000 production total for everything. It's insane. Anyway, naturalist. Wait, what? There's no valid location? Are you serious? Come on now. Really? We can't start a national park anywhere? Oh, the way they work changed compared to pre-release version. Now you actually have to be there, alright. Yeah, it worked completely differently in the preview build that I played. So where do we want this? We have a lot of valid locations. Let's see, we could get at least three, we, we could get four national parks. Okay, we need the tiles with the best appeal, right? Let's have a look. Well, four tiles with breathtaking. I guess we'll grab this one. It doesn't matter that much. I will not be settling a city over here, because the downside of national parks is that you cannot improve these tiles, like, ever. Yeah, sure, let's grab this one. This is fine. I could improve the coal, but we don't really need the coal. We already have one, not to mention there's one more source somewhere. Where was it? Right here, we could grab that one. Just have to buy that tile, which is not exactly a problem. So, yeah, sure. And Novgorod, what? Barbarian Scout, really? Yes, really. Well, we got our unique unit. Let's check for Barbarian Camps. There has to be a Barbarian Camp to the north. And we got Forward Settled. That's not very nice, Cleopatra. She did not steal any tiles, but it's still a little bit annoying. It's okay, she will pay for it. You know what we should do? Repair the workshop and the factory. <laughs> okay, and Builder. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother improving that iron. Although, we are probably working that tile. Yes, we are working that tile. I don't like waiting that long to get there. Is these stupid cliffs. We got three more builds. How about we chop this forest? To speed up, you know, the neighborhood district. Then we can build a mine and then we can send the builder to use his last charge to improve the iron. That's probably the best way to do it. And we cannot get production from the trade route. That is slightly disappointing. Well, do we want to work any of these trade routes after all? No, I don't think so. Let's check the other city. I don't really expect different results from that one. But we'll take a look. Arabia denounced us. They think we're a warmonger. I don't know what gives them that idea. We are like the most peaceful nation in this game, right? And France also denounced us. Because our espionage is weak, no, we occupy one of their cities. We're just sightseeing. We're not occupying it. That's such a bad word. And production. You know what I really miss at this stage of the game? Production queue. It gets a little bit annoying. Oh, Colosseum is actually still available. That is a wonder. Okay. We could actually build it. How long would it take? Only 10 turns. I'm surprised no one built it. So that extends amenities to each city center within six tiles, which means it would reach our capital. It's only 10 turns. Let's just build it. Why not? Sure. And Novgorod. Yep, repair the factory and then we can recruit more units, I suppose. As for the builder, let's see. Well, we got five builds. I would really like to get more production for this city. We could buy a tile, but I don't want to buy a tile right now because it's a bit expensive. 270 gold. I kind of need my gold. Let's just plant some woods and we'll build a lumber mill. That will expand two charges, but oh well, that is fine. 
I can live with that. Trader again. Let's maybe speed up the Colosseum slightly. Change to production only. Plus three production. Plus four production. Yeah, we can get some food as well. This city has a lot of amenities and housing. So, plus six food, plus five production. Fine by me. We got 13 housing. We might as well take advantage of that, right? Yes. Alright, we'll get the boost on the next turn, and that's perfect timing with radio. Get the mine. And yeah, this is not so great. I think we'll send that trader elsewhere. Let's have a look. Brasilia. To speed up the neighborhood district a little bit. And yeah, I saw Arabia also has AT crew. So we'll need to prepare a little bit better against China and Arabia because they actually have decent units. And hey, I like that. Maybe they will actually put up a fight. That would be good. But they also got terribly outdated units like the Spearman. Yeah, AI doesn't seem to be very good at maintaining an up-to-date army, especially with all these massive gaps in unit upgrades and weird tech tree with a lot of techs that are technically optional, but you kind of need them to maintain a decent army. I don't know. Anyway, there's actually no huge rush to build the hangar because we won't be able to airlift anytime soon. So... Also, I don't think I'm going to waste time for Ruhr Valley. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice wonder and I really like it. But let's focus on actually recruiting some land units. You know what, let's finish that spy because we did like one turn of that spy recruitment and never finished it. Might as well finish it now. And Moscow can get more units. Or another trader, that's three turns. I would like to get to my trader cup. But I would also like to get the units. Let's grab artillery. We need to hurry up with our war preparations. I don't want it to take forever. And another artillery. And no, hold on. We just finished. We didn't finish the market. We need an archaeologist, even though it will take a while. We can rush it with a trader a little bit. Lumber mill and... Yeah, keep this city on food. I mean, on production, it's at 5 out of 6 housing. And we'll start the National Park. So that gives us the Eureka Radio and an in inspiration. The of the mind. So now Television we can build Seaside Resorts. The of the and we unlocked the Broadcast Center. We definitely need that because we got two great musicians on standby. And we cannot use them until we get the Broadcast Center. However, I would really like to focus more on military in our highest production cities. Anyway, next research should be either advanced flight or combustion. Getting that artifact will take a while and I do not want to wait for biplanes to get advanced flight. I need to know where aluminum is. So let's go for advanced flight. That's only seven turns. Sounds good to me. And we can kill some barbarians because why not? 99 damage, all right. Trader, six for the five production. Yep. Off you go then. And yep, I can't attack again. And now we can send the builder to improve the iron. Maybe we should work on our science a bit more. Let's check the AIs. How's the competition? 106. Oh yeah, they are still way behind us. Okay, the most advanced AI is still 5 techs behind us. Having said that, I would like to get more science still. It's just lower priority, since we don't have to worry about AIs outtaking us. 10 out of 8 housing. Yeah, we need a neighborhood district once we finish the workshop. That's what we will do. That city can actually grow a lot. Anyway, let's check how many seaside resorts we can get. Probably a lot. That's two. Actually, not as many as I thought. Can we not see all the locations because our builder is not there, or what? Interesting. These are not valid, apparently. It requires a breathtaking tile. 
appeal. These are breathtaking. I'm not sure if it's supposed to show all of them or just the ones close to you. Well, anyway, let's get a few. Because that's tourism. So why the heck not? Kill the barbarian and that gives us a promotion. Very nice. And also mass media. Oh, she likes us this time? Whatever. Yeah, she likes people with a strong army. And right now we do have the strongest if you don't army. Read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you read the yeah, we newspaper, do. you're misinformed. And we got mass media. Let's change policies then. What do we want? Professional army. We could get rid of skyscrapers for now. The Colosseum won't benefit from skyscrapers. Because that's the wrong era wonder. I don't think I'll be building any wonders right now, so we can get rid of skyscrapers safely. Okay. Oh, also, Diplomatic League. Right, before we switch, let's assign the envoys. So... Scientific cities. And one more. I don't care about faith all that much. Valletta, Carthage. Only six in both. What are the bonuses? City center buildings and encampment districts can be bought with faith. I think I'd rather spend my faith for naturalists. Because even if we don't end up getting culture victory, national parks still provide amenities. Plus one trade route capacity for encampment districts. Eh, that's not bad. Vilnius. No, we already got one in there. So which one do we want then? I like plus one trade route capacity. Okay, Carthage. Confirm. And now we can switch. So get rid of Diplomatic League. And pick up Charismatic Leader again. Get rid of Skyscrapers and pick up Professional Army. And anything else? Do we really need Medina Quarter anymore? I don't think so. No, we can get something slightly more useful perhaps. We could use more gold, like seriously. We need gold. Plus four gold and plus one faith from all trade routes will give us the most gold, I think. That should be worth more than free trade. I mean, free market. Yeah, easily. That's guaranteed 40 gold. Right now. And even more later. And faith is still kind of useful. We got things we can spend faith for. Yep, this looks good. Anything else? Or is this fine? I'll keep the amenities. Because we got a few cities that are at zero or plus one only. And we'll keep rationalism. We'll keep public works for now. Alright, looks good. Yeah, that's way better. And Spy will keep him in our capital. Alright, sounds good. And the next Civic. We need mobilization and then ideology. Now. Have three cords in your military. We need three cords specifically. A fleet will not count, I don't think so. Which means, can we actually get it done right now? We got the pikemen, but they are not exactly close to each other. We do have musket men, but same problem, they are nowhere close to each other. Well, might as well start moving. And we got the field cannon. So that will do. The pikemen are the guys that are further... Uh, Oh no, this is already a pikeman core. Which means we just need to combine the musket men and the field cannons and that will give us the boost. Okay, that's not too bad then, that won't take that long. Yeah. And production. What? Barbarian scout? Oh, there's a barbarian camp right here. Really? Yes, really. Alright. Let's grab that bank, because gold seems to be a problem almost constantly. And broadcast tower? Or broadcast center? 
Yeah, although... I still want that neighborhood district. In the middle of the desert. Yeah, sure. And then we can place a district right here, for example. Desert tiles are otherwise completely useless. We need a trader here. Alright, let's keep moving. We can upgrade later. The order doesn't really matter. Once we start a card, the upgrade cost will be doubled. So, we'll spam a few seaside resorts. And fingers crossed for us some aluminum. We have a lot of territory, there's no way we won't have any aluminum. Although, I shouldn't tempt the RNG. I really shouldn't. And I heard the barbarian camp spawning somewhere. We don't know where. Hey, yo. That wasn't enough to kill him. A great person, yeah, a great artist. Do we even have the slots for that? I don't remember, maybe. Production. Library. Wow, only 10 production? Alright. Well, that's what we need more traders for. What about that artist? I don't think we have the slots. We need another art museum somewhere. Yes, we do. Okay, I guess that means he will have to wait. Fine. There's nothing else we can do with him, unfortunately. So he just needs to wait for his turn. See, that's the problem with great writers, artists, and musicians. The more great writer, artist, and musicians points you get, the faster they spawn. The more theater square districts, amphitheaters, art museums you need to build. But the more amphitheaters and art museums you build, the more great writer, artist, and musician points you get. The faster they spawn, the more you get the idea. They need to have some kind of other use. Like, seriously. Because otherwise, it's like almost impossible to keep up because the more buildings you need that give you more slots, the more great artists and writers and musicians you spawn. It's like... yeah. It's a little bit annoying. It's less of an issue if there's a lot of competition, but most of the time there isn't. There are like two or three saves that are capable of getting most of these guys in one game. One of the saves that has this problem also is Congo, because they get double great writer points and such. It's kind of insane as Congo, because one amphitheater only has one slot. So it's pretty much impossible to keep up as Congo, because you will be getting ridiculous amounts of great writer points, and they will just keep spawning and spawning and spawning, and there's no way you can get enough slots for them. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's build a quick broadcast center, because I would really like to use these musicians, you know, sometime this century. <laughs> As for the spy... Oh, we can do it like this, or what? Yeah, counter spy. That's what we want you to do. And there's the observation balloon, nice. So now our artillery will have free tire range, which is exactly what we wanted. And we might as well start upgrading some of these units. The Musket Man. And let's grab another Builder. Only four turns, and we need more improvements around that city in general. Promote. Plus five combat strength versus anti-cavalry units. And plus five combat strength when attacking ranged and siege units. 2 times flanking bonus, pillaging only costs 1 movement point. I don't like pillaging only costing 1 movement point. Okay. So let's go get these cords, shall we? They will be done just in time, actually, so that's convenient. We need 2 more turns in mobilization. 1 more seaside resort, like so. And should we buy another naturalist? I guess we should. Sure, let's just buy another one. Alright, let's grab another one. We have at least several more locations. Yeah, to the north, to the east. We'll grab this one because we won't be improving any of these tiles, like, ever. 
We got two possible locations down here. Yeah, we got quite a few. All right. Anything else? Fortify. And what's that guy? Oh yeah, that's the artist. He needs to wait for his turn, unfortunately. Fingers crossed for aluminum. We really need that. This was a pretty aggressive forward settle from Egypt, actually. What? Ignore this request. Yeah, it was pretty aggressive. But alright. I'm not sure what exactly they were thinking with that city. There isn't even anything valuable over there. Did they really want that iron or what? I have no idea what they were thinking. This is not a very good city. I have no clue why they started it there. There's no resource to be had. Unless they wanted iron, but... Hey, Egypt. You didn't get the memo. Iron is a little bit outdated by now. Okay, grab the core. And we need one more from the field cannons. And that's the boss. And we need two more turns to finish mobilization. Alright. So back to the builder. We got one more build, which is going to be, well, a third seaside resort. We'll get another builder in four turns and then he can improve stuff around this city. That works. And naturalist. Yep, we'll send him north. Looks good. How's our tourism now? We are in the lead, 174. But we are nowhere close to that victory. That would take a while. If we want to work on that victory, we should get some of the policies that help with that. Upgrade. Yep, it's about time to do that. Fortify, we aren't declaring war just yet. But we probably could. I mean, what's China going to do exactly? I guess we could declare war, but I'd like to wait for like at least one more unit, two more units. We got one Masked Man incoming. Would be nice to get that guy. We got artillery that's kind of almost done. Oh, and Masked Man Corps. I suppose we should send these guys as well. How long will it take? 13 turns. Might as well get started, yeah? Sure, or do we want to send them to the other city? Maybe we should send them to the other city. That's 15 turns. That's even worse. How is it worse? Well... Let's just move him manually, actually. Because that might be slightly better. <laughs> right, grab the seaside resort. And let's find out if we have aluminum or not. Oh, oh, can we just move east through the continent? How long would that take? Apparently we can't. Well, we sort of can, but it would take way too long. 20-something turns. Nope, not going to happen. Grab the iron. And yep, fortify. So, give me the aluminum, come on. Le. And then we could maybe try to get a bomber. Would be nice to have a bomber against China. That would make our life much, much easier. Let's find out if we have some. Did I just hear a fighter or something? Atomic era. Sure, jets are fast when they are preparing for war. Do we have any? There's no notification. Seriously? Don't tell me we don't have any. There has to be some. Somewhere. Yeah, there's no notification, which means there's none in our actual territory. What? We do have a settler on standby in Paris. We could always use him. Is there... Oh, there's some over here. It's just slightly out of range. One tile out of range. That is a little bit annoying. Can we actually settle a city to grab that? Kind of, yes, we can. I guess we'll do that then. I just need the aluminum. So off you go. I'm glad I 
kept that settler. Is there any other swords that we could possibly get? You know what we could get? The diamonds. I don't see any other sources that we could get easily. That's actually crazy. We have so much territory. And yet there's almost no aluminum that we can get. That is crazy. I'm not seeing any. At least, again, none that we can get easily. Arabia has some. Right next to their core cities. It's like, what, six tiles away from their frigging capital? And we got shafted. But you know, my luck with strategic resources, hopefully we'll be able to get this one before Brazil steals it. If they steal it, I'll probably have to declare war on them because we kind of need that resource, you know? Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.